Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them? Meh. This one? What's going on guys? Ryan O'Toole back here again giving you guys another review. Welcome back to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. My Harry Potter videos has come to a close. Thank you guys so much for watching my journey to Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald where I reviewed every single Harry Potter film on my channel giving you my thoughts. And now we are here. I'm talking about Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald directed by David Yates starring Eddie Redmayne back as Newt Scamander. And you also have new additions, Jude Law as Dumbledore and Johnny Depp as Grindelwald. Before I get started with this review, this is a big movie. It's a Harry Potter movie. There's no spoilers in this review. A lot of stuff happens in this film, and I do not want to ruin it one bit for all of you fans of Harry Potter out there. So this review is spoiler free. You are safe here. This film takes place right after Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And Newt Scamander has to travel to France and Paris find all his buddies again, and we have Grindelwald, played by Johnny Depp, who escapes from Azkaban, and he wants to wreak havoc in the Wizarding World and break the peace treaty that is set up by the Ministry. Newton and them also have to find out some things about Cremus, and they have to destroy Grindelwald before he destroys everything in the Wizarding World. I really was not a fan of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I thought the film was a huge disappointment. And bringing on a great ensemble cast and David Yates, who has directed all four of the final original Harry Potter films, it really let me down and it just feel fatigued. And J.K. Rowling, who created this entire universe to write the screenplays for that and this film, just really didn't transition well to film. Going into this film, I was pretty excited. I dug the trailers, I dug Johnny Depp, the reveal of him as Grindelwald at the end of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. But this film, I was even more disappointed walking out of it than the original. Now this film is not terrible, but I really did not love the film. It really was underwhelming. And it was really slow, boring, uninteresting in the film just doesn't have that much awe or magical feel to it. It's just pain and gain. All the performances are still great. Eddie Redmayne as Newt Scamander, fantastic. He's great as the character. I love the mannerisms of Newt, his nervousness, his confidence, and just his personality. I really like Newt Scamander as a character. Some of the other performances are great. It's great to see Catherine Waterston back. It's great to see Jacob Kowalski back. Didn't you obliviate him in the last movie? Eh, that's pretty strange, but it's, I guess it's fine to see him back. I really like Jude Law as Dumbledore. He was my favorite part of the movie. Jude Law is so well casted as Dumbledore, a young version of him. It was great to see the background of Dumbledore in his earlier days. Him and Newt's relationship was the best part of the film, and I wanted more of that. There's some cool creature designs, some brand new ones that we see from the first one, and in this one, all the creatures looked really cool. The visual effects look pretty solid. James Newton Howard returns to do the score like the first Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Him. I thought that score is great, and I think this score was pretty great as well. Not as good as the first one, but it's serviceable. What didn't I like about Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald? Uh, a lot. Um, Johnny Depp is Grindelwald. When I found out he was casted, I was excited, and I wanted to see what would happen at the end of the first movie. And here, the concept of Grindelwald is so interesting. This power-hungry wizard that wants to take control of the peace treaties of wizards in the Harry Potter world, he seems like he could be a very good villain, but they do nothing with him. They give Johnny Depp really no good character motivations and no good dialogue, and it just comes off bland and forgettable and hollow. Johnny Depp as an actor, I don't hate Johnny Depp. He's actually a great actor. I love Johnny Depp, but the character of Grindelwald is so boring. This film also is really long, really slow paced, and uninteresting. The film really is uninteresting. It tries to go into different storylines with Grindelwald and Dumbledore, Jacob Kowalski in their relationship that's really stupid. 
and the movie just goes in completely different directions towards the last act. So many plot twists go down in this movie that I was like, WTF? There's so many spoilers that happen in the last act of the movie that of course I'm not going to talk about, but once you watch the final act of the movie, you're just going to be like, what did I just watch? What was that? I mean, you could probably blame it on J.K. Rowling and the script is like, it really did not fit. You could have really told a better story. J.K. Rowling could have done a better job with the script. And given more character motivations for certain people, like Grindelwald, and focused more on Dumbledore, because that's what I wanted to see more of. Not unnecessary romantic jokes from Jacob in freaking Newt Scamander talking about how to talk to a girl. This movie could have been a lot better. It could have been a lot more interesting, a lot more character driven, but it just went through the same directions, and it's even more bland forgettable, but if you guys go see this movie, form your own opinion. You might like it more than I did, but this movie could have been so much more than what it was. On my rating scale, I'm going to give Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald a 2.5 out of 5 stars. Alright guys, that was my thoughts on Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald. What were your guys' thoughts? Did you love it, think it was okay, or did you absolutely hate it? Let me know down below. Stay tuned to my ranking of all 10 Harry Potter movies coming up right next. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you guys as always for watching this review. And if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below. Click that notification bell on your way out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Expelliarmus!